Hey everyone, it's Cubester, and in this video I have an exciting unboxing. This is, I bought this from thecubicle.com, and sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, but here it is. So let's just, I guess, open it up. Ah, why am I using a screwdriver? I don't know. <laughs> ah, there we go. So in this, I have the RS3M 2020, um, the Zilong 4x4, Zilong 5x5, the Yushin Little Magic Square 1, Angstrom Compound 10, and DNM 37. So, let's get this open. So, first thing is the Yushin Little Magic Square 1. So, let's just unbox this. Wow. Okay, this is a non-magnetic version. So, if I can get this out. Okay, so I have an instruction manual in the cube itself. Okay, this feels a little luby, but, oh, okay. This is my first ever square one. This feels a bit locky at these first turns. But then again, I never turned the square on. This, I feel like this, this U and D layer will need some breaking in, but this is non-magnetic. I have no idea how to turn the square on. Ooh, yeah. I might make a video on this. I don't know, but yeah, um, I'm pretty sure on the most of my cubes that are in this unboxing will probably I will probably review them. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I guess I'm scrambling this for the first time. Um Yeah. I know a bit about how this turns not too much. But Um, oh, sorry for the notifications. Um, okay, this feels pretty good, not gonna lie. Anyways, I guess we're gonna put this off to the side, this right here. And now, let's get into this next cube, which is the r 3 2020. Actually, I feel like saving this for last, because... I'm most excited about it. So let's, I'll just put that off to the side. Now, let's unbox. Okay, here we go, DNM 37. I bought three CC, so that's that. And the cubicle receipt. And this is Angstrom Countdown 10, also lube. Now let's get into the um, YG Zilong. So, yeah. Um, let me just get this out of the box. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I use discount cube head. You're welcome. Cube head. Yeah, this is the free cube head logo that comes with it. I'm probably going to use it on DAR 3 in 2020 because that Moji logo is absolutely atrocious. Anyways. Uh, this is the mini 5x5. Five five. Ah, this is hard to open. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Let's grab it off. And now this is a 5x5, five five, so let's just open it up. Wait. Oh, no, it opens differently, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. So, it opens like that. That's different. Okay, so let's take a look at the YG accessories first. Also has this open. So, it has this YJ stand that we can assemble. 
Um, I'll put that off to the side as well. And I have extra magnets, it looks like. Um, a YJ screwdriver. It's not even close to the Moe screwdriver, but looks different. And just a pamphlet, so I'll put that off to the side. And now, the cube itself. Let's just open this up. This is my first 5x5 five five speed cube. So, wow, this is hard to open. And, okay, there we go. So, here it is. Oh. Okay. It has a different feel. And this is 58 millimeters. So, yeah. Um, feels a bit bigger than a 3x3. Three three. It's 2 millimeters bigger. And I just hope this doesn't pop. Feels a bit loose right now i think no i think the tensions are good a bit loose but it looks good and ugh, i hate these logos they do not look good okay i do not like these logos anyways oh it's stuck on my hand anyways okay I'm really slow at 5x5, five five, so I probably will not be doing this all on this. Uh, feels good. Let's check corner cutting. Oh, um, that's good. Yeah, I'm just being kind of safe here. Don't want this to pop. I can see that over there. And yeah, if I just pop this piece out there's the screw looks like a normal screw let's move on to the yg z long 4x4 so yeah i'm saving the rest of the end for last okay here we go the z long mini 4x4 this is probably one of the most hyped puzzles i'm hyped for because obviously the RCM will probably be my new name because the Gen 344M, um, it's kind of dead. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, yep. I'm guessing there's going to be the same accessories, so I won't go into that. I'm going to go straight into this cube. So even before I unbox this, this feels... Exactly the same as normal 3x3. Three three. Yep, same size. So, let's open this. So, I hope this will make it so that I don't have trouble switching from cube to cube. And again, that logo. Ooh, I like this. I really like this. This feeling really good. Because of this cube size, I can like um, do three by three finger tricks um, without like yeah, I feel pretty good. Yeah, um, so I can do three by three finger tricks uh, on a four by four just because of its size. So um, that's pretty nice. Turns pretty well. It's a bit loose, not too bad, but you know it is. It's there. It's good. Yeah, again, this is my first 4x4 speed cube because I had an original Sheng Shao, I think, or something, so yeah. Now let's get into um, what I'm most hyped for, the RS3M 2020. 
So, again, I hate these plastic wrappings. Let's just take this out. There we go. Okay, RS3M 2020. I like the RS3M, but again, 2020, don't remind me of that. So, if I can open this. Um, there we go. Oh, okay. So here's the cube. Let's take a look. Okay, movie stand. There. I'm not imagining still in the cover. There. Okay. I don't like this. Anyways, I don't like the stand itself. Because now the accessories will not want to come out. I'll just open the other side, I guess. Okay, let's take a look at them. I, it's this, but, yep, just as I expected, pamphlets, yep, and, okay, here are the adjustment, you can adjust with this, this is just a spare, and the classic Moe screwdriver. Now let's get into the cube itself. the cube first of all horrible i don't like this moji logo at all so let me get this out all right already much better i'm probably gonna add that cube head logo okay first turn it's a bit sandy Okay, I guess that would just take some breaking in. Um, it's pretty good, honestly. Obviously, what do I expect? I feel like it is a bit fast right now for the magnets. Oh, they are quite noticeable. But I feel like it is a bit loose. Because, yeah, this feels a bit loose to me. Let's take a look at this adjustment system. Oh, wow. Okay, that took... Okay, there's the adjustment system right there. And the screw. Okay. Yeah, let's do a quick solve on this, actually. Let me get my timer. Okay, there. Um, yeah, let's do a quick solve. pretty good okay um already pretty good solve 18.18 but throughout that solve it did feel a bit too fast like the cube was doing the turns for me so um if i can find this cube head logo i'll probably put it on uh just a second Um, you know what i'll just um i'll just do that um later um uh, yeah um i'm pretty sure on most of these puzzles i will be doing a voiceover review um thanks for watching and bye